Welcome back. You're watching What's Hot on CNBC TV 18. There is no respite for Nimesh Kampani, well-known investment banker. The Supreme Court today dismissed Kampani's anticipatory bail plea in the Nagarjuna finance scam case. And here's a quick snapshot of the case so far. Nimesh Kampani was an independent director of Nagarjuna Finance. Supposed he quit in April of 1999. In December 1999, the company was to pay back public deposits of about 100 crore rupees. It sought an extension till 2002, but it defaulted at that time. Now, six years later, the Hyderabad police issued an arrest warrant and filed the case for criminal breach of trust and cheating. So on What's Hot Tonight, we asked what next for Nimesh Kampani. Joining us is Ryan Karanjivala, Nimesh Kampani's counsel. Ryan, many thanks for joining us. The anticipatory plea has been dismissed by the Supreme Court. What are his legal options? What is the legal recourse for Nimesh Kampani at this point? Well, one of the obvious legal recourses is to come back and face the trial, face the investigation. Mm. But also it has to be remembered that this is not really a case at all for custodial interrogation. Hmm. This is really a case where, in fact, I would have expected at the earlier stages the prosecutor to say that as long as he agrees to comply with hmm. and listen to our directions and cooperate with the investigation, we don't really want his arrest. Hmm. Because as you yourself have pointed out several times in the past on this show, he he wasn't even a director sure. on the day on which any wrongdoing is supposed to have happened. Mm. And this is not even a wrongdoing. This is mm. just a case of a deposit mm. not being paid back. Okay. In the case of the other independent directors, Meenu Shroff as well as AP Kurin, the plea, according to their plea, it must be decided on the same day. That's what the court has ruled. It must be decided on the same day as, they, uh, as it comes up for hearing. But in this case, you haven't applied for that or asked for that? No. Today, we didn't, we didn't press for that uh, aspect of relief. Mm. Because our, uh, we, we wanted to just assess the situation a little more deeply. Okay. So there is no recourse now except that he needs to come back, give himself up for custody and then take it forward. So, you know, but and then... You can always file a review. There are other recourses. Mm. But this is one of the more obvious ones. Okay. Harsha? Yeah, the question I really wanted to ask, Ryan, uh, you know, there's a similar case that's happening, or at least in the case of Satyam, which is another issue of corporate governance that's been brought in. In that case, although the, the parameters may be different, the role of the independent director is still, still under scrutiny and they have not been, they have not been booked at all. So what parallels are you drawing with, with the Nagarjuna finance scam case and with Satyam? But that's, that's our whole case really. Here is a case where in Satyam there is no doubt that there was a scam. The, the Andhra Pradesh police have not asked for any independent director to be arrested whatsoever. In our case here there is no doubt that a, there's no wrongdoing as far as Nimesh Company is concerned. B, he was not even a director of the company on the date on which the deposits were not paid. He had retired and resigned well in advance. All these are documented facts. So that was my original case also. This is not a case at all for custodial investigation. This is not a case where the Andhra Pradesh mm. police should at all have asked that he be arrested. And what is more important, especially when simultaneously back to back in a case which is of an actual scandal and of a considerable magnitude. Hmm. There they have done nothing against any of the independent directors. They have not sought to have them arrested. Okay, there was an offer for compensation that was made which was turned down by the Apex Court, two and a half crore rupees. What was the rationale behind that, Ryan, and how did you arrive at that figure? Uh, I wasn't personally in, present in court because I was stuck in the Jetmalani case when it was going on. But what I was given to understand was that that is the broad figure that is... Uh, what the Andhra Pradesh government, due. yeah, yes. okay. And has been uh, this thing. And I am given to understand that our council did make uh, such an offer. Which was turned down by the court. Well, I mean, the court didn't accept it in the Supreme Court itself. That mm. doesn't mean that we're preempted from making a similar offer elsewhere. So it can be an out-of-court settlement? No, I mean, one can always go to the police with various options open and one does hope that they will see sense and behave in a manner which this case behoves. Harsha? This is a broader question, Ryan. Uh, has Nimesh Kampani been charged in this case of, of connivance or of negligence? And is there anywhere in, in Indian law that talks about what the role of an independent director should be, particularly with the aspect of negligence? Well, one of the cases, one of the, uh, one of the sections with which he's been sought to be charged is cheating. Now, you can't have a case of cheating unless you establish that even on the date on which he wanted the deposits, he never intended to pay back. Here in this case, in the year in in which he resigned itself, over 70 crores worth of deposits were paid back by the company to the depositors. There can be no question here of anyone actually intending to defraud the depositor. It's just a case of not having the money to pay back. That's all. So we will just have to wait for matters to proceed if Nimish Kampani decides to come back and then this can proceed forward. That's right. So nothing, nothing in the interim. 
at no. this point in time or or is there some some other option that or some some other avenue that you're exploring uh, frankly that's for him to i mean this just happened today so we'll have to sort of consult wiser counsel than me and <laughs> sort of take a more careful view and see what is the best course available for him